Hi, my name is Scott Kurtz, and in this video I'll be showing our noise reduction demonstration on the Texas Instruments TMS320C6748 Low-Cost Development Kit, or LCDK. Here we have a diagram of the test setup. We have the LCDK board here with the DSP on it. We have noisy input. We have our algorithm running, our noise reduction algorithm running on the DSP, and then the noise reduced output. In this demonstration, we're not going to use a microphone. We're going to use some pre-recorded um, samples, noisy uh, speech samples and music samples. At the output, uh, you will be listening this, um, using this uh, video. We have TI's integrated development environment running on a PC that's Code Composer Studio is the name of that um, software or CCS for short. Uh, that PC is connected to the LCD K board using an emulator interface, JTAG interface. And then we also have a terminal emulator connected to the board so that we can control the demonstration. We can uh, change noise reduction parameters, turn off the noise reduction, turn it on, and listen to what happens as a result. So what will you need? Well, you'll need DSP Soundware's algorithm development kit, in this case the noise reduction uh, demonstration kit, which is just software that you can get from us. You need the TILCDK board or kit. You, you'll need an audio source. You'll need something to listen to the audio with, and you'll need a PC with the USB serial port and terminal programs such as TerraTerm, which is what we'll, we'll be using. You need the Code Composer Studio, the yeah, in integrated development environment, and a JTAG debugger. Okay, so let's go through the installation and setup. First, uh, you obviously need to install Code Composer Studio on your PC. I'm not going to go through that here. That takes, uh, that takes a while. But if you follow the instructions, it should be no problem. Um, I'm also not going to show specifically uh, the installation of ter TerraTerm. But I will highlight the settings that you need, the serial port settings that you need to use on TerraTerm so that um, you can communicate with the LCDK board over the serial port. So um, let me start TerraTerm, and um, I, mine's already set up, but I will show you what settings need to be set up. Um, in, in this menu, the terminal setup, you want to set the new line transmit setting to carriage return plus line feed. Everything else in this in the setup menu is uh, default. And then also, you'll want to set up the serial port uh, well, whatever COM port, makes, COM port is correct for your computer. It may not be COM3, but it is for me. Uh, baud rate is 115,200 bits per second. Data rate, 8 bits, no parity, one stop bit, no flow control, no delays. I'm not sure what the defaults are, but I imagine that 8, none, 1, and none is probably the default. The thing you might have to change is the baud rate. Okay, so we have TerraTerm set up. Next, you need to connect the LCDK, the PC, and the JTAG emulator all together. The details of the connection are included in the quick start guide that comes with our uh, demonstration kit. So I'm not going to show it here. I don't have any, uh, any live video to be able to show that. And we'll start Code Composer Studio. And this, uh, this can take a while. I may have to do a little editing to speed it up. Um, you have to select the workspace, which the, the workspace is part of the project that is part of our um, kit. So I'll click OK and let it open. OK, there we go. Um, don't be concerned if yours doesn't open that quickly. I edited out about 30 seconds of delay there. And it looks like it's still opening up as I speak. Um, the first thing that we're going to do now that our workspace is open is we'll go into the um, target configurations menu and drill down to the C6748 LCDK which is shown here right click on it 
and launch the that selected configuration. So we're launching uh, a target configuration right now. And again, this could take a few seconds. And when it's done, we'll see that the configuration has been loaded. It's, uh, it says it's disconnected, which is the state that it comes up in. We will next connect the target. Okay, looks like we are connected. And the next step will be to load our program. Now you will go into the load program menu and browse for the project. Mine's coming up automatically, but if you browse the project, you'll find it in MCASP, C6748X, etc. Uh, in the debug directory, that's the program that you'll load. Okay, we have the program loaded. Before we run it, um, we need to start the terminal emulator. If it's not already running, I don't remember if I left it open or if I closed it. So let's take a look. All right, now I have them both on the same screen. It might make it a little easier to work with. So let's start the program. And I don't know if you hear that, but I hear a beep in my ear, so something went wrong. I'm going to stop the uh, program. And uh, what usually needs to be done here, I don't know why, sometimes it doesn't start up right. If you, if you have a problem, do a CPU reset, and then do a system reset. And then we have to reconnect everything. So we will um, uh, relaunch the target configuration. And when that's done, reload the program. No, it's not quite done yet. Uh, we have to connect the target again after relaunching it. And during the connection, we'll see some messages come out here showing that everything is uh, being connected properly. Now we can go to the Run menu and load the program. And I don't have to go and browse. I'll just pull it out of the recently loaded programs. And hopefully this time when we start it up, we will see something on TerraTerm. There we go. So the program is running. Um, the user interface on TerraTerm, you know, on the, on the uh, command line interface that we've developed is straightforward. I'll hit carriage return. We can see we get a menu. Um, we can type help um, on any of the other commands. The commands of interest will be set uh, show is optional. Start, stop, restart. Uh, I don't think there's anything on stats and we don't need to do quit. So let's say we want to find out what parameters we can set. We can do a help set and it gives us the syntax which is help set algorithm which in this case is noise reduction or NR and then we there have some parameters we can set so let's find out what parameters we can set. Help set NR uh, max of 10 dB, which is a measure of how aggressive the noise reduction will be. And music mode, which if it's set to 1, um, it, the noise reduction acts uh, in a way that's more optimized for music rather than speech. Whereas if music mode is set to 0, then it's more optimized for voice. If we want to see what the current settings are, uh, we can do show NR. And we can see what the default settings are. So we have uh, a default setting of 18 on the maximum attenuation and music mode is not enabled. Um, in doing this demo I'm going to have to um, take my microphone away and connect you to the output of the demonstration. So to remind you 
um, we're going to be playing some noisy files into the uh, into the DSK or into the um, LCDK, and you're going to listen to the output. So I have to feed this output into my computer that's recording this session right now, so I have to unplug my microphone. So I'm going to try to describe ahead of time uh, what things will be doing. You'll get to see what I'm typing on the TerraTerm screen, so hopefully it'll make sense to you when you see what I'm typing. You know, I, when I turn on and off the noise reduction, for example, if I set the noise reduction or the maximum attenuation to zero, I'm effectively turning it off. Uh, and then nothing takes effect until you stop and restart. So keep that in mind when you see the when you see me change a, a parameter and it doesn't seem to take effect is because it's waiting for a restart command. So let's switch back and I'm going to um, disconnect myself and connect you up to the uh, output of the demo. But before I do that, um, I just want to tell you what you're going to listen to in each of the segments. The first segment is a recording of me reading the Gettysburg Address with automobile cabin noise in the background. So it's as if I'm doing this inside a moving vehicle with uh, all the noise, the road noise and the engine noise in the background. And we'll have the noise reduction turned on, turned off, and you'll get to hear the difference. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war testing whether that nation, or any nation so conceived and so dedicated, can long endure. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty, and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation, or any nation so conceived and so dedicated, can long endure. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty, and dedicated Okay, so hopefully you were able to uh, hear the difference when I would change the maximum uh, noise attenuation, uh, and when I set it to zero, you would hear, hopefully heard more noise, and as I increased it uh, at higher settings, you could hear the difference. Um, sorry about all those uh, typos I made in the user interface. So that concludes the demonstration. Um, I hope you found it interesting and perhaps you'd like to try it for yourself. If you'd like to do that, contact us. We can send you the demo. Um, but of course, you'll have to get it the LCDK from Texas Instruments or one of their distributors. So just a little summary here, um, a, a little bit more information about DSP Soundware. Um, besides noise reduction, we also offer acoustic echo cancellation, acoustic beam forming, dereverberation, active noise cancellation, and a spatial audio mixer. These are all algorithms that we provide, um, all focused on uh, voice quality enhancement and improving the voice communication experience. Um, these, many of these products can also be used in conjunction with automatic speech recognition because just as they improve the uh, voice quality for human ears, they can also improve the uh, speech recognition accuracy. Uh, one last thing is we also offer consulting services. We can do contract work primarily in the area of DSP software development um, and embedded software development. And here's some contact information. Again, my name is Scott Kurtz, president of DSP Soundware. Uh, my email address, website, and telephone number. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.